Today I've got another Electronics Amazon Custom Returns pallet video for you. So today what I've got is two very large boxes that came on one wooden pallet. So these boxes were liquidated, packed, distributed direct from Amazon, Amazon.com to a local liquidation company here in Indianapolis. And then I purchased from the liquidation company who buys direct from Amazon by the semi-truck loads. Semi-truck loads, plural, every month. Not just one load, loads, uh, plural. They buy a lot of stuff direct from Amazon. So this is electronics, which is my favorite kind of liquidation product to purchase because everybody loves electronics. I love electronics. What's more fun than getting out vinyl records getting out video games, getting out electronic items. I mean, that's fun. That's fun stuff to get out. It's fun stuff to resell. Occasionally, you know, a few things to keep, but these two boxes that came on one pallet, the total Amazon MSRP of all the items in these two boxes is $1,783. That's the full price. If everything was brand new, but it's not, this is customer returns. Some will be used, some will be damaged, some will still be brand new, some will be new with just like damaged, like retail packaging, okay? But my cost was $231, that's what I paid. So MSRP, $1783, my cost $231, which yeah, it's, it's higher than I like paying, but we're in December. Prices on liquidations during the month of December, it's not uncommon for prices to go like 20% of, of MSRP, it gets very hard to get stuff for 10%, which is my goal on every pallet, is 10% of MSRP for the maximum profit potential. But yeah, so right now, if you are not pallet flipping as like a full-time job, if you've never tried it, don't start this month of December. Don't do it. Stuff gets expensive this month. Wait until January, February, March. If you have never dabbled in liquidations and you want to try, wait until 2020. Do not start in December. <laughs> you know, you'll get aggravated and uh, kind of, you know, discouraged by prices you have to pay this time of year. But when this is your full time job, like myself, if prices go up, I got to pay higher prices because this is how I pay the bills is pallet flipping. So here we go. First item. Let me just find something good to pull out. Um, there's like big stuff on top of everything on the bottom and I can't really see until I move this big stuff out of the way. So this first item will probably be kind of boring. The box looks like it is a laptop cooling stand and it is. Metal laptop stand. You've seen these things on this channel many, many, many of times. Still factor sealed. It's a metal laptop stand allows air to circulate around your laptop. These get liquidated a lot and they're always brand new, just open packaging. But I've been selling those things for about 15 bucks. Once I have too many though, I drop the price to 10, but I think that's the only one I have right now. 10 bucks. Then we have another mystery box. Kivo 11P refurbished Bluetooth lock. Hmm, hold on. Quick set, Kivo 99250. A smart okay, this this is gonna have this should have some value to it. If it is a did I read Bluetooth somewhere? Or am I just imagining? Oh, it did. Bluetooth. If this is a Bluetooth smart lock for like your house, this is gonna have some value to it. Even in new or used condition, or this actually this box says it is refurbished. But it looks like, man, there's a lot of tape on this. There's like an inch of tape. There we go. Even if it's, if it's refurbished, it still has value to it. Oh, nice. In the original box. Very nice. So yeah. So this actually was factory re refurbished. Looks like by quick set. Yeah, this thing's gonna be, before I even open it up, let's see price in this thing. I'm just going to use the Amazon app to check prices. You can do the same thing if you want to. Just go to Amazon app or the seller's app. I'll just use the Amazon app that you can download to your phone. Click the little uh, camera looking thing to pull up that so you can scan barcodes. You know what I'm saying? It's just it's right next to the search bar. People ask me like, what do, 
Ooh, what do I do? This retails, what color is this? The, but the Venetian bronze retails for $139. That's not, what did I pay for this palette? $231. So this will be almost half of the palette, possibly, depending on, it says it's refurbished. Hopefully it's gonna be like new condition. Come on. Okay, so here's the locking part of it. They still have this thing like, yeah, this thing has not been installed. No installation marks on it. That looks good. Oh, nice. Yes. Freaking awesome. This part of it still has the wrap on it. It has the factory cover on top of it to keep scratches and fingerprints off of it. So yeah, this thing has not been in, no. The back of you can usually tell what's been installed has not even been installed. So this is 100% factory refurbished and factory refurbished could also just mean it got returned by a customer. It got sent back to quick set and they just, you know, went back through everything, took off any fingerprints. If it was missing, like the guide, they put the guide in it. And so this is awesome. Here's all, I don't want to pull this thing out all the way, but back there's all the installation hardware of it. So this sells new for 139 in this condition. It's Christmas time. I could easily ask. You know, I, I, I probably, it's Christmas time. I'll probably try to blow this thing out as quick as possible, honestly. I won't try to nickel and dime all the profit possible. I will try to get this up for sale as quick as possible for about 100 bucks. And see if I can get 100 bucks for it. I should be able to because this is literally like new condition. So that's a good item. Second item out of the box. And it paid for pretty much about half of the palette. Can't beat that. I like when that happens. So, oh, records. Yes. Cool. So this is in the packaging that Amazon uses. The person put it right back into the packaging and sent it back. What record do we got? Purple Baroness. Never heard of this album. Don't know anything about it. Baroness Purple. Most records I sell for around $16 shipped. That's the price I ask. Oh, there's it's it's the same one again. It's kind of weird. I don't reuse Amazon's uh, packaging. I put it in brand new packaging. Just looks more professional whenever I sell that stuff. Let's we got some more record. Oh, PS4 game. Nice. Oh, is that a zombie game? It's that new zombie game, isn't it? Yes. We got Days Gone. PlayStation 4, come on, be in here. Yes. Nice. Awesome. Days Gone, PlayStation 4. This is 2019. I think this is actually it's a pretty new game, if I remember correctly. I could be wrong on that, though. I am wrong. At times about items. This sells new on Amazon for 27. Right now it's on sale. It was 60 bucks. Right now it's new for 28 bucks. Use condition. It's Christmas time. Probably 15, 20 bucks for that. But I might have to keep it. It's a zombie game. I love my zombie games. But yeah, that's awesome. I'll take that in a heartbeat. Outlets. That's not very, very fun now, is it? Thermostat control box. Still factory seal. It still has like the staples in it and everything. There's a barcode. I can quickly scan, I can quickly scan the barcode, see what the price is on it. it. Sells new for 22 bucks. It's Christmas time. Box is kind of beat up on it. 10 bucks on that. We got some more records. Let me pull out some of these records because they're on top of everything else. I can get the other items a little bit easier. I see some more PS4 games down here. That's awesome. So more PS4 games coming up. Ooh, cool, we got Little Ann record. It is a little, it's a little warped. So I have to make sure the record, you know, plays okay. Cause if the record's warped like that, it might not play okay. Oh, here's another one of the Stranger Things soundtracks. This is season, oh, it's volume one. So it'd be like season one soundtrack. 
just poly bagged by Amazon. Go ahead and take the poly bag off. It's not a factory seal. Amazon poly bags, items, whatever. Some items are wherever they liquidate. Soundtrack. Good 16 shipped on that. Then we've got Lauren Daigle. I've never heard of her. Lauren Daigle. $16 shipped record. The five day week stray people. I don't know. It says limited edition vinyl. What's limited edition about? Is it, is it colored? No, it's just. I don't know. It says limited edition vinyl album. Nah. They just use the word limited. And just because it says limited doesn't actually mean it's actually limited. It's just marketing to sell stuff. Uh, Bill Evans, jazz. Yeah, I've got to be in the right kind of mood to listen to jazz music because if I'm not in the right kind of mood, it just puts me asleep. But like, if I just want to like have like a wind down kind of day, you know, a nice nice uh, glass of the bubbly or something, you know, a little jazz music, you know, that's comforting. But if I'm if I'm tired or bored, <laughs> don't put jazz on because I'm out. I'm out for the count. What is this? Talking Heads? The Boston Tea Party. Record covers a little bit beat on it. A little bit of damage to it. Then we got Night Dreamer, a Wayne Shorter record. Another $16 shipped on that. That's cool. Let me save the PS4 games for a little... Oh! I was going to say, let me save the PS4 games, but next game I think I pull out is an Xbox One Metro Exodus Limited Aurora Edition. I've never gotten this one from a pallet before. Oh, it's oh, it's taped in there by somebody. Somebody put some tape on it, so it does, which is actually kind of nice. So it didn't come out loose during shipping or the liquidation process. Everything will still be in there. Will that get it out? Nope. Keep cutting. They taped both sides of it. There we go. So, has like a steel book case to it. Inside is another steel book. You've got a Exodus little thingy there. Come on, be in there. Nice. There is the game. Perfect shape. Game says came out in what year is this? 2019. That's that's a pretty new game. If there's any codes, it'll be on the back of this. Of course, I never know if codes are used or not. But yeah, that's cool. Uh, I'm kind of curious. This is a Steel Book Edition, Aurora Edition. This will have some value to it. So let's find out. Okay, Aurora Edition Xbox One retails for seventy on sale now for thirty-seven dollars. Open box item. It's Christmas time. That's probably a good twenty-five bucks. Honestly, it's like in pristine condition. Let's see. It's an eight port gigabyte web managed click switch net safe pro safe. That looks kind of nice. Hmm. Ooh, that still looks factory packaged too. That's like all tight in there. That's still that's still taped. This this probably has some value to it right here, also. This sells new for $36.90. Oh, that's not the right thing. No, that's not it either. Is that it? No? Looks... It's similar. Here's one that's similar that sells for $59.49. A similar one sells for $60. This one's got, looks like, USB ports on it. So, it probably sells new between $60 and $80. So, in this condition, something like this. Maybe 30 or 40? I'm not 100% sure. I'm kind of guessing on that price, though. Kind of guessing. Journey, greatest hits DVD. And it's in there. Condition, fabulous. That'd be a good five bucks. A lot of people collect concert DVDs like that. Then we also got a BB King Alive in Africa, 74. And BB King is beautiful. Another live concert DVD. That, that could go for a good five bucks or so. Here we got some shiny wrap. 
Not sure what that goes to, what that goes on, but I'll have to figure that out later. Not, not, not really too sure. Some more of that stuff. What is this? Easy Weed Heat Transfer Sheet Roll for T-shirts. It's a sheet roll for T-shirts? Okay, I guess. <laughs> I'll take your word for it. Oh, cool. iPhone core, but then we've got some Nintendo Switch Joy-Con controllers. It's been opened up by somebody else. Like, like new condition. That's awesome. So, Joy-Con controllers. Probably some decent money on these. $66.99 new. That's kind of, it's not cheap. So almost 70 bucks new. This condition, it's Christmas time, it's like new. That's 50 bucks right there. That's 50 bucks. Let's do another PlayStation game. Oh, cool. Madden 19 PlayStation 4. Do I have this for my system over there? I don't think I have Madden 19. I think I, I, think I have 18 maybe. Pretty much every PlayStation 4 game that I own, I got them all out of pallets. <laughs> That's how I pretty much build up my PS4 collection, my record collection. It's all from pallets. So Mad 19. That's beautiful condition. Used game like this is probably gonna be about 20, uh, about 20 bucks used. So that's it's nice. Let's see. Heart to Heart Movies Are Murder Collection. Good five bucks on that. Sounds Ball Portable. I sell those things about 15 bucks. People like to use those to fall asleep to. It has that white noise to it. Do you guys left this box? We got an iPhone 7 Extreme Edition cell phone case. Good 10 bucks on that. We've got some of these uh, fancy pins. I'll put that into my stack of home good or uh, all, or all the supplies that I sell. Looks like display port to VJ adapter. Blackhead remover. Okay, if this thing is a blackhead remover case, it's probably going to be used with probably used blackheads in it and stuff. So I'll, I'll, I'll leave the zits over there. Here we got some rulers. Looks like we got some office supplies again. That's not very much fun. I don't know what this is. Some kind of, I don't know, some electronic kind of gadget. Oh, we got, we got a whiteboard. Okay, interesting. Let's do this PlayStation game. Oh, nice, Madden 20. So yeah, I'll sell the Madden 19 because here's Madden 20 PlayStation 4. And it is in there, awesome. Not cracked, it's in fantastic condition. So I'll sell Madden 19, but I'm gonna keep Madden 20 for my own PlayStation 4 game collection. Like four things left. In this first box, we have a Casio watch. It's that old school 80s calculator watch. That's a good 20, 25 bucks right there. Still in the factory packaging. Warrant, or I shouldn't say, not, not with warranty. Because if I sell it like this, it has no warranty to it. Let's see. Oh, a bunch of iPhone cords. Uh, Hitsville, the making of Motown CD, and an iPhone cord. So, that's it for the first box. Let me box this stuff up. We'll be back with the second box. Box number two. Mm, once again, I can't see what's on bottom here. All like the big stuff's on top. So let's go pull out the stuff on top. This is kind of heavy. Quick access firearm safety device. Is this a gun safe? Has weight to it, so it probably is a gun safe, like a handgun safe. Yep, that's what it is. It is a, is it a fingerprint one? No, just like a coated, a coated gun safe. Amazon Basics. That's probably good, 50, 60 bucks right there. I did have quite a few gun safes and I sold them all within the past month. I blew out all my gun safes, so I got another one now. Good, 56 bucks on that. 
Okay, this is a world map in here, but the tubing's kind of crunchage. Scratch off world map, whiz builders. Yeah, I, yeah, it's trash. Wow. Wow. Here's probably a million staples. Well, probably 100,000 staples. That's a lot of staples in this bag. That's a, that's a lot of staples. Accurite, like a liquid measuring thing. Okay. Okay, where's the cool stuff? Here's a Dymo handheld little printer. Make labels and stuff. Use condition. Eh, no, maybe like 10 bucks. Something loose enough to check it out a little bit closer though. Speed light. Is this for a camera? I think it is. I think this is a camera's flash. It's still all factory packaged up. So it looks like a, like a camera's flash. A very high tech flash for a camera. The brand is Young. Hold on. That word. Let me look this thing up. There we go. It is Speedlight Flash with integrated 2.4 gigahertz receiver for Canon, Nikon, so on. Sells new for 57 bucks. Looks like it's pretty much new condition. Almost sells for 60. 40 bucks right there. Easy 40 bucks. Then we've got a mystery box. I'm gonna guess this is a box of ballpoint pens. Nope. It's like little a box of little party cups. <sighs> like to get punch, you know? Okay. Any electronics? That makes sense, I guess. Nothing like liquid with electronics, right? Next. GoPro case. Oh, what is this? I've got a GoPro. Can I? Well, that's a big GoPro case. I gotta see what's what's what this thing holds. My like my GoPro, where is it at? I think I have it in my case somewhere. I have a case for a GoPro. Oh, I see. You can do the cutouts to do yeah, I I won't use this, so I will sell this. But a GoPro case, something like this, like ten bucks I bet. Nothing like crazy expensive and yeah, I will not use a case like this for a GoPro. Half the reason why I have a GoPro is because it's so small, it's easy to use and carry around, something big like that. It's kind of like a nuisance for the GoPro. Oh, cool! We got a knockoff Trapper Keeper. Trash. Trapper Keeper, it is not Trapper Keeper brand, it is, brand is called Case It, but it is just like an old school, kind of a Trapper Keeper. That is neat, but pretty much unsellable. LED, a little tiny LED flashlight. It's tiny. Brand is Infray. Then we've got flashback delay in. Oh, cool. Guitar pedal. Nice. TC Electronic. Guitar pedal. Some of these guitar pedals can go for some really crazy money. This one, I don't think is one of those like super crazy money kind of guitar pedals. It's probably like 20, 25, 30 bucks. More than likely. I don't see this being very expensive, but it's a nice item though. There's not much in this box. We got some Avery labels. Wow, okay. So we got some light bulbs and we have a Timex watch. This box, once it took off the big stuff, a couple of those big boxes, there's not much below. Here's another brand new watch. LA Collection Heritage. It is a Timex watch. It's a nice one. That is a nice one. That's probably a good 25, 30 bucks for that watch. 
these watches I get in these pallets, I usually get, I, I get a lot of them, but whenever I sell these things, they sell very, very quickly. These watches don't last very long. Ready to use rechargeable battery Panasonic. Ah, somebody put some little tape on it, I think, or something. Why aren't you opening? Oh. Oh, it's, it is a battery charger. I'm gonna keep this, a Panasonic, it's actually a Panasonic branded battery charger with a whole bunch of rechargeable batteries. Oh yeah, I'm I'm keeping that. I can use that, rechargeable batteries. Let's see, iPhone cord. Calvin, Sean, Nat, is this makeup? I don't see how to open this thing up. Yeah, I'm just going to damage the box to get it open. It is like makeup or something. Oh, it's Lavender Essential. Actually, my wife might actually will probably want to keep that. Lavender Essential. Oh, I think this is whenever at night she has like an oil diffuser. I think she puts lavender in it actually. So actually, I'll just keep this out and see if the wife wants that. She probably will actually. Let's see, a few more things. We've got glass protector and this is like an off-brand phone case, like five bucks. I don't know what that is. <laughs> Thinking of uniball pins. There's not much left, just like maybe six, eight things left in this box. Some more glass for your cell phone protector. Teeth whitening, professional whitening pin for your teeth. I guess I could always try it out. Oh, Polaroid film, but it's all been opened up, so this film will be no good. It's been exposed, it's been exposed to light. That stinks. Then we got a mystery box. What's in this? Ooh, a Parker pin. Parker pin, sometimes these can go for a lot of money. Oh, it's a nice one too. Oh, that, that is a nice Parker pin. I've actually had a few of these and I've sold some, it even has the ink for it. I've sold some, honestly, for like 200 bucks. Let me look this up right quick because this is probably going to be a good money maker. Okay, I found it. This is the Parker Sonnet Fountain Pen Red Lacquer with Gold Trim, solid 18 karat gold. Really? That's why I guess this one's pencil expensive. That's solid 18 karat gold. I guess the tip of it, I bet. Retails for $127.30. It says fountain pen design with 18 karat solid gold nib. So the nib here is solid gold. That's that's why it costs so much. But yeah, this is 127 bucks, brand new. It's open box item, obviously. So this was actually a little bit of a cheaper Parker pen. I mean, it's still very expensive for a you know a fountain pen. But for a Parker pin, 127 is actually a pretty cheap price. I've sold some for a couple hundred bucks. That, I, I'll probably try to ask like 80 bucks to see if I can move it quickly, you know? We got just four things left. Well, if I can pick them up. We have a replacement band for an Apple Watch 38 millimeter. Decibels, custom molded earplugs, heat and shape earplugs. Those are worthless. Two things left. Oh, we got a, is that a USB or a H, yeah, that's an HDMI cord. And then last item in both boxes, magnetic car, <laughs> magnetic car phone mount. These things are really, really cheap. They just mount to your dash and then they fall off your dash whenever your car gets too hot. So that's it, that's all, that's both boxes right there. It wasn't bad. It wasn't the, the best ones ever, but I did get out like what, four, five, PlayStation 4 and Xbox One games, a couple of game accessories, we got some watches, a gun safe, that expensive quick set Bluetooth door thing, 
camera flash is expensive. That Parker pen. This is actually, it's actually a better one than I thought it was once I jogged back my memory, all the stuff that got out of it. This actually was pretty good, honestly. This is pretty good. This will be very profitable. A lot of these items will sell quickly. Some items won't. But the majority of this, these two boxes should sell. Honestly, they'll be gone by Christmas. So that's what we got. That is an Amazon custom return liquidation electronics palette. These are items that you can get buying a liquidation from Amazon. Not from Amazon, but from a liquidator who buys from Amazon. Because if you want to buy direct from Amazon, you've got to have a million dollar contract with them to buy millions of dollars of product direct from Amazon. So the normal Joe can't do that. I had to buy from a liquidator who has the ability to buy millions of dollars of product from Amazon every year. So that's who I get it from, from liquidators who buy from Amazon. So I'll see you next time with more Amazon liquidation pallets. I'm out. <laughs>